Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. It's Eva from Bohemian Crafting and today I'm coming with the circles. <laughs> I was thinking uh, to do some, some sharing uh, about shapes and how we are using them. So I'm gonna start with this, with circles. I do like circles, but I'm not using them often and they are very powerful shape. If you will think about it, all important things are like circle the earth the sun the moon human head and if you will throw to the water anything it will make a circles right so circles are good but i'm not using them often so i was thinking how i can use them first of course make them like a label like this what i used it was just some stamp i think i yeah i used this number from a studio light And it's so easy to make stamps like this or uh, patches like this. Just take your stamp, take the circle, take the pencil. Here I use this red one, this red pen. And here I'm going to use the black one. And I'm going to make fake stitching all around. Just using my pen. And I can go even... One more time, like this, just simple stitching, then take your stamp, the ink, and you can try, very easy way, to stamp. And you will use your circle to decorate some page, and glue your circle on your page maybe like this another way how to use circles in our journals is to use them on paper clips and decorate the paper clips the way you like i do have full tutorial for these paper clips uh, it is in the tutorial where i uh, was talking about embossing powders and how we can use them so i made few paper clips with embossed effect as well but the base was circle and i do like them so much and uh, i think the most common usage of those circles for our string pockets so there is few ways how you can do those closures uh, one way it's when you punch the circle you punch the hole in the circle and you are using eyelets you punch same hole in a, the flop of, my, of your envelope, slide there the eyelet with that uh, circle and press it together and fix it. And then another one you are putting on the pocket of, of, of that all composition and again press it together. Then you glue your envelope together and you have beautiful closure like this. The other way it's uh, using brats. And it's very easy. You just need to punch the circle, fix the circle to to your envelope straight away, or you can prepare few those up front, like strips of paper, and maybe make them decorative, like I do have here. If you do have already your envelope, just take your paper with this closure. Not ready yet. I have to put their string as well. But this is like prepared. So I punch those circles. I made the hole in the middle of those circles. I use the brat and I punch it through the paper. Both of them are on the same position on that paper. Same papers, same position where I place those circles using those brats. And now I'm gonna glue one here. And the second one. I'm gonna glue it here. I'm gonna try to match the circles, you know, kind of like even. Fix the string on one side. I'm gonna cut that shorter one. 
so now I do have closure for my pocket so that's another way how to use it and once we are using that string we can do beautiful decoration using circles as well so here I prepared I punched two circles one and a half inch and then I took one inch <clears throat> paper punch I just slide that one and a half inch circle that was idea after I punched those uh, those large circles so I slide it inside and I punched and I didn't uh, you know I didn't mind that it will be not in the middle because for me it's decorative like it is so I do have here these and I already punched two butterflies these are like off cuts <laughs> which I can use for those closures so here I do have uh, kind of like uh, rings and I do have two butterflies I'm gonna choose um, some page and we can make beautiful decoration using circles and I do love to use butterflies because they are always decorative no matter what they always do beautiful decoration like this I'm gonna take that one inch circle I punch that inside and I will punch somewhere I'm gonna take a string and glue I'm gonna put a glue on one of these rings I'm going to place there the string come on hold and maybe I will do a decorative including that string why not so this now the ring I'm gonna glue it over and I'm gonna try to match it with the punch I'm gonna take the other one I'm gonna place it from other side I should make some background decoration here as well and again I'm gonna try to match it all together and now I'm gonna find my butterflies I'm gonna put a glue on the body of the butterfly and this will be like very oops tiptoe 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 careful where I am placing it to make sure that both butterflies will fit there stay I'm gonna a little bit fold it and place it over it and try to match the bodies to fix them together if you do have <coughs> butterflies small enough once it's dry you can actually twist it inside and make it you know run all around but it needs to be dry so give it time and then you will have movable part through to your, your page so that's another part another beautiful decoration using strings well strings <laughs> using rings or circles here you have hit this oh i think it's one and a half i'm gonna use embossing uh, folder and i'm gonna emboss that 
air mail but before i will do so <clears throat> i'm gonna take this tool uh it's slot punch and i'm gonna punch one side and i'm gonna punch the other side as well like this now i'm gonna emboss it i'm gonna place it here and emboss that piece so i embossed it and i used a uh, tea dyed uh, distress ink to distress it a little bit and i do have here this lace so what i can do i can use it like decorative part on the lace if i will want to decorate some pocket or some page in my journal so i'm gonna just slide the lace uh, from the front to the back and from the back to the front like this and now i can use it maybe somewhere on my page so if i will glue that lace here i need to let it dry and once it's dry everything you can make sure you've got it on the spot you want because you can move it here and there i think i'm gonna leave it here and it's beautiful decoration and when i am on the putting i place those uh, one inch circles here on the ends just like decoration and when i am putting on those uh, on the end of string so when we have small circles like this they are perfect for the ends of your string they look so cute so decorative and it will also help to hold the string much much better than when it's without the circle on the end it just looks so cute with it so put some small circles on the end of those strings or threads in your pocket in your signatures in the middle of your signature and it will make beautiful decoration you can use you know cutouts maybe from some dies these are actually cutouts from dies i mean uh, off cuts from dies so save these if you do have some die where off cuts are circles even those small save them because then you have this beautiful ending on the string for the pockets and when we are in those circles you can make beautiful beautiful decorations like small clusters using circles and this is pretty simple uh, as a base i used the circle uh, cut out from my uh, collage sheet it is kind of strong one it was many layers <laughs> so that was base then i used this uh, die this is sizzix uh, die i think it's this year or, or last year die i will have to have a look i will put all links down below uh, all names down below and here i used see that uh, eyelet circle i just punched the hole and fixed that eyelet with the circle i uh, hung there this circle uh, charm <laughs> on the chain and then i put just this notes on it that was very simple this one and i think it's beautiful so i'm gonna glue it right here as a tuck spot as decoration and tuck spot as well and just right here i'm using hot glue because for these uh, dimensional things where i want to have there you know some uh, space under the hot glue especially when you do have lace so hot glue it's i think it's the best so i do have circles here 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 and one more thing <clears throat> i'm saying that every single time when i'm using some dye or paper punch do not throw away your off cuts uh, here are two samples how i used the off cuts from 
these circles. So I save the offcut like this. Here I glued that offcut on piece of paper and uh, two of them I stamped with circle stamps and in one of them uh, I used seal wax and I made this decoration and it can be used like tuck spot. And here I glued underneath, um, I glued piece of acetate and here I glued just those beautiful butterflies and this can be used as tuck spot as well. Maybe I can place it here straight away, I guess. And because here uh, it's acetate piece, I'm going to use double-sided tape. Maybe here. Yeah, I think. Maybe there. So I'm going to put double-sided tape just on one side of this off-cut, decorative off-cut. And I'm gonna place it right here. And press it together. I'm gonna flip it over. So I do have a tuck spot where I can see, you know, a little bit what it's slided in. And I think it looks really beautiful. It's decorative. So this is my small sharing, how you can use. There is so many other things you can do with circles. But this is my small sharing, how you can use them very quickly. Here is another cir circle, uh, like uh, clocks, which is wonderful for for using I hope it's dry yeah but I do have big butterfly this is kind of stuck you know on the sides if that butterfly will be just a little bit smaller I can twist it this way many many times and when I will release that it will circle back but because the butterfly it's a little bit bigger it will be just like decoration, but I think it's beautiful decoration. So this is my sharing for today. I hope you did enjoy it. I hope you got some idea. Thank you so much for visiting me. Have a wonderful day. Take care about yourself and I will see you soon. Bye.